they made their walls so thick that they were able to build multiple storied structures. And here's more shots of the Kiva. This wall, although a thousand years old, is probably 25 or 30 feet tall. Multiple stories that they were able to create by making their walls so thick. This is like an ancient kind of stairway that actually goes down into this lower area and down underneath our feet into these kind of things like this, these completely underground little passageways. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the original wood flooring that they have down there. There's gotta be thousand year old pieces of timber on the ground. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really excited about this part. Oh man. You gotta really duck in some of these places. Right? Yeah. Especially you. Look at this doorway. Go stand next to this doorway so they can get some perspective. And Rose is pretty short. But apparently so are Chacoan people. Mm -hmm. And like you said, maybe this. Or at least it was easier. Oh man. Ugh. So this is great. You can see into these other rooms right next to it. Huh, you can. <laughs> I'll have to see the video. And look at this wood, man. This wood has been here for a thousand years holding this up. Not only has it been here for a thousand years, but it traveled thousands of Yeah, years. however they got it here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this is one thing I wanted to show you. But I'll let you take down this. Oh man. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're just in this room. I am inside the ruins right now. We are just, we came through that doorway, <coughs> if you want to call it a doorway. And look at this. There's just door, little doorways to other rooms. Uh, check this out though. There'll probably be others. Can you guess what this was used for? Probably smashing up corn into flour. Mm hmm. Sweet. Rolling and smashing, yes. Yeah. Anthropology nerds. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this door, sure. door number two. No, let's take this one because I think it leads to nowhere, and I think okay. that one goes. Oh, cool. Yep. Another really tall wall. And here's a little window, or I actually, think this is where the it looks like this. Was? Oh, probably, yeah, this first level. Yeah. You've been pretty close. They filled this in so we can't get through, but I'm going to see if I can stick my camera in this room and see what it looks like. Probably just like the other ones. I'll have to see later once I check the footage. Yeah, check this out. Ugh. There's the second level. There's the doorway to it. Oh, you're right. That is where the so doorway on the... Like right under the ceiling so it helps support. Yeah, help hold the floor up. And then this was the second story floor. Can you believe a thousand yeah. years ago with just there rocks was, there was a third story and timbers? Yeah, probably three stories. This is a tall wall. Yeah. Look at that contrast. Come over here and look, there's a plane. <laughs> but look at the contrast of that blue with the sandstone. Gosh. Yeah, that is a very pretty... We've seen a lot of... Pretty, pretty shot since we've been here. Now we're gonna go through this doorway again and into this room that is uh, another big room. Oh, cool. There's like a corner window. Let me try to focus this a little better. And I bet that's what number 13 is about. Yeah, the moon, you can see the moon through that sometimes, I think. 
I'm not surprised. They lived in the ruins. The function of prehistoric rooms is often difficult to determine. Architectural features found during excavation are clues to their use. I hope we don't get in trouble for being in here. Another hole in a wall. Man, these are so tall. There's like so many stories. How did they do this with rocks? It works though. Maybe we should build a house out of rocks. It'll be around for a thousand years. Like a bird's nest. Okay, another doorway. I'm just going crazy right now, going through. Oh man. The east and west wings of Pueblo Bonito were constructed between 1075 and 1115, <clears throat> including this room. This was the most extensive building phase in the canyon and one of the last. Made it. <laughs> no window. What's in this way? That's another. Look, another corner window. Like corner. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not completed. Yes! Okay, so here. We get to go inside. Ugh. Whew, we are in a room. I don't know if you can see this in here. Oh, yeah. The original there. Vigas and Latias in the ceiling of this room. These are the original boards holding this thousand year old ceiling up. So beautifully and perfectly it's preserved. So cool in here too. Yeah, you can't believe how amazingly cooler it got when we stepped into this room. It feels like there's air conditioning on in here. So it makes sense that they, uh, I guess they figured out how to build their stuff pretty well. Yeah. Welcome to one of the intact original rooms open to Chaco visitors. The ceiling, wooden beams, walls, and doorways were built in 1082 AD, over 900 years ago. In spring 2004, the walls in this room were replastered to protect the old original plaster beneath, plaster scarred by carved graffiti. Wow. This is 